Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon, my fellow YouTubers, Facebookians. Now, I just got done uh, watching a video by a woman who was talking about how she made the Hall of Fame on my free implants uh, website. Now, good for her, kudos for her, but I'm just going to say it. I know myself and other transsexuals have tried, and we've been kicked off because we are transsexual, male to females. That's right. Male to female. Now, what does that mean? It doesn't mean much to these girls, but they put in their hard work. They deserve it. To me, I just want to say something and make it very clear that the lady made some good points of how to go about getting it done. Yes, men do like boobs. I had someone ask me a while ago, you're a woman now, what do you like? We figure you like wieners and wine or beer and, ho and hooters. I said, no, give me hooters and shooters. Therefore, the bottom line, in my opinion, is simple. Simple as simple does. That's my uh, buddy there. And it's titties and beer. Yeah, but I can't use the words. Oh. I'm a minister. i got to keep things clean. Now, point is, is I'm a minister. At one time, I was willing to help a woman uh, on my free implants, even though I got kicked off to help with her surgery. I didn't do it because uh, about a couple weeks later, she left, and that was it. However... Let me make it one point clear that when I was going to help, my assistant there said, why? And then, how about this for example? We were uh, talking and I said, you know what? These girls got to go to an American doctor. You know what the problem is with my free implants? They get their head up their butt so far. They say, oh yes, I need implants so I can be bigger and fuller. I'm, I'm not confident. That's fine and dandy, but if you're not confident, Here's what you do. You get your head out of your butt, basically where you're sitting there smelling yourself. You pull it off. Now, I'm going to do this video not just for myself and uh, sake, but I want to talk about something very important. Today I ran across uh, someone who was talking about my free implant. A nice woman. She's very beautiful. African American. Isn't that right, Aaron? Very beautiful. The African American. Very knock dead gorgeous, in my opinion. Bombshell. Anyways, point is, is she was very good. She's like, oh yes, I need a breast lift and uh, bigger boobs. No problem, breast lift and bigger boobs. If you got what it takes, go for it. But I want to make something clear. Well, someone says, oh yes, it can cost $10,000 or more. $10,000 or more. Hello, doesn't take a promotional bell ringer to make Admiral in the U.S. Navy. All it takes is some stinking common sense. How? Easy. Go on Google sometime. Google those doctors that do sex changes, like transgender things. A genetic woman can go to Thailand for about seven to nine hundred dollars. She can get breast implants for between twenty six hundred and four thousand. Hello? It's cheaper there. There's a doctor there that does it for that. I heard places in Mexico where it's like two thousand dollars. I heard a place where you can get implants Silicone mentor implants. I think it was for um, Fourteen hundred in the country. I Do a lot of research now Tonight I was uploading two vids. I said yeah, these are cool But when I decided to check out uh, other my free implant things I came across this girl who had them done and she's like ah, yeah it's like, uh, yeah, we like, we really want to see that. The point being is, is the young woman that I was talking about, this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, African American woman, gorgeous. She didn't sit there and be like, pss, 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 or adjusting this or that. The point is, is you've got yours done. You don't need to say, look, I'm bigger and fuller. No, you need to sit there and say, I'm. You did everything by the book. I'm happy you did it. But before someone comes up and gets their head out of their butt, they need to realize the main problem is you can get it done cheaper than going and selling yourself. That's basically a whore, and this is how I feel. Now, the African-American woman, who's gorgeous, by the way, hot, beautiful, well, to each their own, but the way I saw it there on my free implants was give me picks, do contests, do this, and whoever gets the best gets the surgery. Well, I mean, I heard of one woman spend five hours a day for like 
nine months to get her implants. Nine months, I heard it was. And she got, she made it, but nine months. Sorry to say that uh, if you want surgery that bad, do some research. Look into Thailand, look into Mexico, look into South America. Better pricing, good doctors, you get the same pretty much implants, you get Mentor or the other one, and you get them done. And then you don't have to sit there and slave for six months when you can go to the country and be like, yes, I spent $900. And you get a vacation. Point is, is, I don't know. The way that lady put it, it was like, yes, I know you got to do X amount and X amount and X amount to get it. But to me, if you want implants that bad, there's other ways around it than doing a website, trying to make it full time just to get them done. I mean, transgender people I've talked to, they're like, yeah, we tried my free implants, but they kicked me off because my, as soon as they wanted it, you know, something about the voice or something, a you know, voice video, they'd find a YouTube channel and someone's like, well, this one was a man. Well, so be it. Point is, is, I for one think that, yes, the lady's right completely. It is, and it always will be, a business. They're there to make money. Nothing more, nothing less. But, truthfully, it's like selling your soul for a pair of boobs. You can get it cheaper. You can work for it. Um, $2,600 in one Thailand doctor. Perfect. Instead, you got to go through a U.S. doctor. It could be six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen thousand dollars $10,000, Yeah. Well... Bottom line is, the girl was very nice, very attractive. Heck, I'm not calling her a whore. I'm just saying, in my opinion, it's prostitution without prostituting, in my opinion. Legal prostitution on the net. Heck, I knew one girl that was preoperative transsexual that was posting her pictures everywhere until she became post-operative. She was selling $30 on her own private website. Mignana, until she got her surgery, you know, means later. She, as soon as she got the money, she went... No one knows what happened. I think she's not doing vagina pictures for extra money, but her new vagina, I should say. Point being, point is, is it's completely and thoroughly um, legal prostitution of the highest caliber. They found a way around it. You sell yourself for pictures. You go online, you say, oh yes, blah, blah, blah. You blog every day. People follow you. People pay for the credits for the messages. And in the end, in the end, you get your implants if you work your butt off for it. Otherwise, you can go to Thailand and get it done for a minimum of 2600 plus airfare. And you're only there for a week or less. Hotels are pretty cheap there in Thailand. So, with that said, there's my uh, thoughts and opinions on my free implants for a second time. Now, for the beautiful African-American woman, I hope I didn't offend you by saying this, but basically... I don't see any women there that are whores. What I was saying is, is the company pretty much is a whore. They're taking advantage of the girls, as the woman said in her video. And she was, you know, they're there to make money. She said they're making $6,500 a week. And they're making like, what was it? She said $8 million last year. Oh, that's good and dandy for them. But it's a business. Well, all I can say is, if you want implants, go through Thailand or somewhere else. Uh, please subscribe. Please uh, add me as a friend if you like. And please leave comments in the box. I'm always open for all suggestions. Oh, and if you're that desperate for implants, there's always a way around it. Because sometimes I think a woman might be incompetent or not confident enough with her breast size. And she needs to have implants. And when she gets the implants... She might be more confident. She might get more guys. But in the end, is it going to be really worth it 20 or 30 years down the road when you yeah. have to revise them? Not to speak of, but there's uh, plenty of guys who don't care about breasts. There's plenty of guys who like them small, too. So, and, and if usually the guys who like them big usually aren't always the nicest guys out there, either. 
And the other thing I was going to say is just remember, you're going to have to revise them eventually anyways because they don't last. Usually guys who like them big are perverts. Exactly. You know, perverts, you usually can't trust them because they'll go find some other woman when you start to go south again. Exactly, which means breast lift and new implants. So just remember, you're going to always have to replace them. It's like buying a TV. You buy a TV, you use the TV, eventually the TV goes out. It's like my little 9-inch. Uh, had it for nine years, one day, gone. This baby, hopefully she never goes because she's, well, 16 years old. As I said, they don't make them like they yeah, used to. I think a lot of women look at breast implants as being a financial investment, like a stock market yeah, exactly. or whatever. You get yourself bigger breasts and you're more likely to find a guy who's financially secure. Exactly. As he said, you get a woman who uses the implants as a financial investment. They find a guy, they settle However, down with might, the guy. Uh, it might raise your percentage of finding a guy who uh, is financially stable by maybe 30%, but you also raise your likelihood of finding an abuser or a cheater by like 60%. Don't forget the fact that eventually, if you don't have the money to replace your implants, you are screwed. So anyways, look into Thailand, look into other places, my opinion of my free implants is plain and cut and dry, basically. Cut and dry. So, with that said, I do have one thing to say in my end of my video tonight. It just came over the wire for some of you that don't know. I just want to say, may Gore Vidal rest in peace. He just passed on. The guy that wrote the uh, play of Lincoln. The writer and author. May God bless him very well now in heaven. He'll be greatly missed in the writing community. For the rest of you, please take those into consideration. When you're buying implants, you're getting it not an investment. You're improving your life, but at the same size at the same time, things will happen and well, eventually you'll have to uh, do it. Now, I can tell you some of these women out there that got those implants from my free implants they did it because they were desperate. They wanted their bigger breasts. And now, they're probably like, I would say, their mind went shallow. They got bigger perky boobs. They think guys can pamper them. And they can take advantage of them. And if a simple person like uh, my buddy here asked him out, they'd tell him to go basically read the bird and just give him the finger. Therefore, their attitude changes and they royally suck. That said... May God bless you all. Please add, subscribe if you like. Uh, add me as a friend if you like. Subscribe or send me private messages. Peace, love, and happiness. Thank you.